What is up, everyone? Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm about 36 minutes late. That was a frantic, like, 36 minutes. I don't know what's happening. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, I'm still trying to figure out because I have the iPad set up now. And I can't see the chat. But I'm going to see if I can log in on the phone so I can see the chat. So lay down. Dog's trying to sneak me. Um, yeah. Let's just see where we're at. Okay, here's... I'm going to log into myself on my phone and mute it here. So. Said sound is low, so uh, working on it. We can see if we can crank up the sound. The lighting is low, too. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Usually, I would have the uh, iPad you know set up closer here, but we're far away, so we can hopefully show all this stuff. Uh, let me know if the sound is a little bit better and uh. Yeah, and all that stuff. They said it's better. Okay. Thank you, Thrifty5050. 50, 50. Appreciate that. Okay, so go through the thing here. Uh, Michelle, hello. Marie, Star City Picker. Justin, Craig, the Land Shark Picker. What's up, man? Uh, Mo Flips. Again, Thrifty5050. 50, 50, bet. What's going on? Star City Picker. Is that Star City, Arkansas? <laughs> uh, Michelle, again. What's up? Larry, what's up, man? Okay, the bargain effect, what's up? And we'll catch all you guys on set. Oh, <laughs> Justin, that's okay. No, it wasn't you, it was, it was so bizarre because I never have done a live video necessarily like this set up. You know, I've done it straight from the phone or the iPad or usually I do it straight from my iMac. What I was trying to do is I had the event scheduled. And when you schedule events, apparently it's really funky to, to get the live stream on your iPad or iPhone. It's probably not impossible, but it's not easy. So what I did, canceled that event and just went live straight from the iPad. Technology, what can you do? <laughs> oh, hello, Candice, how's it going? Let me see here, Pick and Clipper, Karen Henderson. What is up? Well, Karen says the sound is still bad. I'm sorry, I, I can get closer to the iPad, but uh, the, the uh, microphone I have for my iMac is not compatible with an iPad. I tried a little adapter and it just won't work or whatever because it's a USB, you know, mic. And I had another mic that was just going to the audio jack of the iPad. It crapped out too. So we don't know what to do. We're, trying, we're relying on the uh, internal mic on the iPad. So crank up your sound. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, Larry, that's what we were doing. We were trying it through Google Hangouts, and for some reason, it wouldn't go live. Like, I could get it to show up through my iPad, even through the live events on my iMac. I could see myself on camera, but it wouldn't go live. So, I don't know. That's what the whole 30-minute thing is about, trying to figure that out. But it is what it is. Yeah, Craig. I, uh, yeah, with the but the problem with the, the microphone is it's USB, and of course, iPad is a Lightning port, and there is a USB to Lightning port adapter, and I got one of those and tried it. Didn't work so good. There was all kinds of interference and crappiness, and just you know. But anyway, so it's kind of absurd. Moonbase, greetings from Halifax, Canada. What's up? Thank you for coming in. Yeah, it's so odd. I'll figure it out later, but luckily we're live now. You know, I didn't want to have to cancel it completely, so we're just going about a different direction. See, I'm on the iPad, and I got you pulled up on my phone watching the chat. So, yeah, that's why I'm looking at my phone. But anyway, this is about my photography setup, my new photography setup. All this, most of this stuff I have put in the Amazon affiliate links. So if any of it interests you, it's at the very top of the affiliate links. You know, go for it. We get a few pennies, whatever you think. You know, we appreciate it. Uh, hopefully the sound is better. Karen, uh, Karen Henderson gave me a super chat yesterday, so you're awesome. I'll try to help you out any way I can there. Well, thanks. Thanks, Star City. Okay, so we'll get into it. Um, the main purchase on this stuff was uh, 
these bad boys. These are, however you say this word, Neewer. It's a big brand in photography and lighting and stuff. These are Neewer LED panels, and they have different levels. They have like, I think 440 LED panels, 660s, and even up higher than that. These are 660s. These are like right in the middle. So I didn't necessarily want to go with the super top or the super bottom. But the, yeah, these panels, I've been using them about a month now, and they are awesome. And I'll tell you why. You can blend light. There's certain light that is better for photography, and there's certain light that's better for video. For video, a blend of white and yellow light is better. Like right now, I have it uh, kind of as yellow light. <laughs> <laughs> Wife is laughing at me. No. <laughs> oh, Justin. Okay. Call me Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. But uh, these panels are, are awesome. Uh, you can blend the lights, and I don't want to blind everyone. I blind myself. But it's white and yellow. So how does that look on the camera? All white. All white. So, you know, if I turn down the white and turn up the yellow, it's better for video, uh, yellowish lights because it's better on skin white will bleach you out and look like a vampire right justin justin looked like a vampire the other day but uh for photography white light is awesome so i turn down the yellow and turn up the white and whoo that is awesome for video or i mean for photos for photography but it bleaches a person out I'm like i look like a vampire and so for for video a lot of times we'll blend it though because you want the brightness and you also want the yellow so you turn up both, and you get a blend. Super bright, blinding video. Like, when I'm doing the uh, haul videos, and I'm back there, and everything looks great and looks normal, I'm about blinded. I can't hardly see anything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they work great. And I have four of these, and two of them are mounted on the ceiling. Give me a second. I'll... So... These, these are the only things that are not on Amazon. I got these off eBay. These are, these are accordion like bracket and they go up and down so I can go high or low, however I want with whatever I may be photography, you know, picturing for you know, photos or video and it slides back and forth. So I can get depth, I can get as close as I want. Or as far as way as I want. Like I said, these two are not on Amazon. And, if, I mean, I should have said this from the beginning. Word of caution here. you got to have some ability to book on stuff. Like, in some, I'm not going to say carpentry ability, but you got to have a drill. you got to have a drill bit set. you got to have the ability to install this stuff, which I do, luckily. But because the rails, they do have fancy... Uh, brackets to install these rails those brackets are super expensive but what i did is i just drilled holes in the top of those brackets and you know found a stud in the ceiling and screwed them directly to a stud in the, in the roof in the ceiling of the room so yeah you can pay a hundred bucks for these fancy brackets i just drilled a few holes put some screws in and it's done save money that way uh, and these just you know uh, roll right on there and I put a couple of bolts in the end so it won't roll off of the, <laughs> of the mount which is important see it stops there's no chance of that going anywhere on both ends so anyway that's those lights I have a lot of other random lights which I don't really recommend like these little ring lights I mean they're bright and all but they're annoying because the bases are not heavy duty enough and uh yeah i just not a fan of them, but I still use them because I have them, you know, because they are pretty bright. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. They are pretty bright for what they are, but, you know, still not a big fan because they're not very heavy duty, unlike these. Big fan of these LED panels. So, the only thing I haven't really figured out yet exactly what I'm going to do is to power all this stuff, because right now I just have the cables running underneath the table to a power strip you know not a big fan of that you know it's all in there i can turn it on i can turn it off but stuff is in the way kind of so what i'm eventually going to do is probably ceiling mount 
a power strip and have all those cables tied up and out of the way. You know, enough slack, of course, where I can move them, these lights back and forth. But if they're up on the ceiling, you know, a cable running up, they're not around my feet when I'm trying to film video and stuff. So. Could you turn that light off? Actually, you're dark. You're, you're in the shadows. Okay. Okay, so next up is, I gotta tighten these bolts, but uh, I'm gonna put this all the way up, try to keep it out of the way a little bit. Okay, so next up is our backdrop. Backdrop's important. Anyone that does, you know, eBay photos can tell you about this. And we do have, like, the uh, the cubes, you know, those pop-up cubes, like Lonnie's last video. He got this huge, massive cube. And we have those. We have two of them, and we have some smaller ones and stuff. And they do work, and they work well. Um, but just for ease of use, uh, backdrop. I just sold something. Or no, I actually, somebody paid for something that had an offer on but anyway, okay, so up top here, this is a bracket system, and this is also by the same people that made these LED panels, this newer, and this is in my Amazon affiliate links, and this can hold up to three backdrops, and we only have one installed right now. The black one has been on back order for, actually, a black one that was supposedly delivered but it never was, so I contacted Amazon and they said, we'll send you another one. Still haven't gotten it, so still waiting on the black one. But, um, yeah, there's a... Okay. So, obviously, I put this, this is one bracket and put it into a stud. This stuff is so is heavy enough, you want to put these in the studs. And this is about six feet long. You, the, the brackets are just over six feet apart. And there's several backdrops out there, but the backdrop I went with, for several reasons, is a vinyl backdrop. One is because vinyl doesn't wrinkle and it doesn't attract fuzz and fur, cats, dogs. Um, and it's just smooth. It's easy to clean if it gets dirty. You know, because they have muslin backdrops, cloth backdrops, but they get wrinkled. They attract everything. Hard to clean. You have to wash them and then iron them and get them, you know, all that stuff. So vinyl to me is the easiest backdrop. But the bracket system, again, it's in my Amazon affiliate links, is awesome. It's the best one I found. Over on the edge, it has a, uh, let me get down from here. I put it on this side because I didn't want it by the door. But over on the edge here, it's hard to get a shot here for me messing with it. It has a, you know, basically a chain system. These are just plastic. They're not real chains, but yeah, it means you can raise and lower each of the three backdrops. Um, yeah, and it's fairly easy. There is a break-in period. It's tough at first, but uh, the more you use it, the easier it gets, you know. So uh, but with us only having the one backdrop right now, they have the news that much. When we get the black one in, we're going to put that one up. And we're still looking for the right, like we almost want a textured one, like a, we don't know if we want it wood-like or brick-like, you know, like Andy the Parrot Head Picker has that, like, kind of gray brick backdrop, something like that, but not exactly, of course, but uh, still looking for something like that, the right size, the right price, and everything, but this system, it wasn't even that expensive, but uh, it's heavy-duty, the only thing it doesn't include is the pipes, and so you're asking, well, crap, where do we get the pipes? The pipes are cheap, you know what these pipes are? These pipes are one and a half inch, two inch, sorry, two inch inside diameter. Everything with plumbing is inside diameter. Two inch inside diameter, schedule 40 PVC. And we got these at Lowe's, uh, cheap, like eight bucks a piece. So uh, you obviously you can't order these off Amazon or anything, but I you know, got those schedule 40 pipes, cut them to length, and this, this bracket system comes with you know, things where you cut into the pipe and you just screw them down and it expands inside the pipe. And those are the tensioners that they call them. They're, they're tensioners. They keep the, uh, you got to adjust those once they're up to keep the weight of the screen where you want it, where it's easy to do the plastic chains up and down. So, yeah. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the chat today. Yeah. You need a mic, evidently. <laughs> uh, people, yeah. Sorry about that. I mean, 
like I said, we're still trying to flesh out exactly how to do sound real good on this, this iPad. So, if you people know. have recommendations, let us know. Yeah, if anyone has a recommendation for a, a decent microphone for this iPad, let me know because it is not good. Let's see here. Justin says, the lights are nice. PM me later where you bought. We can upgrade the worker this year. Yeah, they're off Amazon, Justin. I have the Amazon affiliate links in the description of this video once it's done processing. So it may take like 30 minutes or so after this. Can you talk about the length of your backdrop and the table? Okay, so. <laughs> Marie, that's funny. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate that. Coffee, coffee. That's a person's name, coffee, coffee. Oh, cool. He's in my chat all the time. Looks like some someone has done some research and is taking this lighting seriously. Absolutely, because uh, I had someone comment on one of my soul videos about, why don't you retake pictures? Well, because I don't have the time. <laughs> I've been doing this stuff. <laughs> but all my photos recently, the past few weeks, have been really good because of this. I mean, I'm not a good photographer, but when you have the right setup, you don't have to be a good photographer, you know, so... Good lighting, good backdrop. Okay, so the, oh, I said the backdrop. Talk about its vinyl. This thing is six foot wide and it's nine feet long. So I have it just back behind the table right now, but it's long enough where I can overlay it over this table. You know, so it's all the way over and uh, yeah, it's like a seamless background. I haven't done that, but I will do that. And the black one will be the same size. These are all by the same company. Um, yeah, it's six feet uh, wide, nine feet long. And that's why we're on the third one, we're looking for the right size and, you know, along with the right design. Uh, so, yeah. And the thing that I kept in mind when I put this thing up is I wanted to have it high enough. Um, most of my clothes will fit on this mannequin. You know, uh, you know, coach, jacket, whatever. But every once in a while you get like a trench and stuff and that's not going to cut it. So you need to hang it high. And that was what I kept in mind with the height of hanging these brackets I can still like off this pipe you know hang a little bracket and hang a you know a hanger from that with a trench coat on it so that's that's a thought process of I had of hanging that stuff yeah sorry Karen again I apologize but uh, there's nothing we can do about it I'm trying to speak as loud as I comfortably can but uh, sorry about that but yeah that's the setup uh, I don't know if anybody has any questions, of course, shoot. But uh, we had, obviously, the uh, the bracket system, which is on Amazon, which I have a link. The backdrops, which is also on Amazon. We have links. The pipes, you have to get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Again, Schedule 40, 2-inch inside diameter, diameter PVC. We have our rails, and those are off of uh, eBay. We have our brackets, our accordion brackets, which are, again, off eBay. And we have our LED panel lights, which are off of Amazon as well. And those are in the affiliate links as well. But uh, fairly involved, but worth it. Because, you know, your photographers speak to a lot of your items on eBay. Uh, let me see here. Dominator asked, how much were the lights? They're not cheap. Uh, this is the mid-tier model. Like I said, this is the 660. And I think these were about 60 bucks a piece. And the, uh, there is, like I said, like a 440. And the 440 uh, is a little bit less than that. I think they're 50 bucks a piece or something. I can't remember exactly. But they are on Amazon. Go through the link. They are Neewer. N-E-E-W-E-R. So it's Amazon or eBay? Amazon. Okay. Amazon on the LED lights. So, yeah. So that's, uh, that's it. That's uh, the setup. Uh, way better than my old setup. And like I said, I will still set up if it calls for it. Let's say I'm listing a bunch of small stuff. I can set up one of those pop-up light boxes easily. And, you know, with all these lights, it would light up like a Christmas tree in that in the pop-up light box. But uh, with a setup, it almost doesn't even need it with the backdrop or anything. But I still have them in case I need them. We have two comments that came in. Oh, sorry. One about soft boxes and one about the uh, the ripples in the backdrop. Uh, the backdrop does not. I don't know. Maybe it it's just shows the, up on camera. It's the I think it's the way the the lights are angled. Yeah, I think, yeah it's and just, I 
just the way my wife was saying, it's just the lighting, the way the, the iPad's kind of set back in the... And I don't think it's relaxed yet. Right. The backdrop's not entirely relaxed. Yeah, she had a point there. It's like, this was rolled. It came as rolled. The other thing I liked about this backdrop is when I ordered it, some of these come folded. Don't do that. These come rolled. Because if they come folded, it's going to be a nightmare to get all the wrinkles and stuff out of them. This came rolled, but still being uh, rolled, there's still going to be a period of relaxing and resting it and just, yeah. But it's not really showing up in your photos. Oh, that's not, I know it's not. Um, Michelle asked, did you get the soft boxes for the LED panels? Oh. Those are those umbrella pieces. We haven't got oh, them no, yet. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, yeah. But they have those lenses Yeah, on they them. have, I don't know if it comes through on the, the camera here on the Turn, iPad. Try turning it off, see if it... No. <laughs> you can't see it really, but uh, on the on the LED panel itself, it has this insert. It's a... It's a uh, frosted. Frosted insert that you can take in and out of here. They're not that easy to take in and out, but there's a little clip over here that you can press down. And slide this panel out. That, that, that's a good shot. Yeah. So that kind of acts as your soft box for these LED panels. And of course, we, we usually just keep those in there. And that, that just pops right back up again. Yep, that's it. It's fairly, fairly easy. Uh, let me see here. Uh, John Jones asked about the backdrop having lines. Nope, there's no lines. It's just the lighting at the, in the angle. The iPad's kind of set back, so. Dominator says, I'm just using a pool curtain and three cheap clamp lights. Yeah, that's. Everybody has different situations and different, you know, ways of doing things. I just wanted to up my game, and uh, that's what it was. This wasn't too terribly expensive, like. I'll give you an example, like these these brackets, the accordion brackets I'm calling them, and the rails, the whole system is on uh, B&H Photo, I think, or it's one of those big photography websites. These systems are thousands of dollars, and I'm not kidding, go look them up, go look up professional uh, ceiling mounted photography systems on like B&H Photo and stuff, literally thousands of dollars. All this stuff, the four LED panels. The brackets, the backdrops, everything was 500 bucks for everything, which is still not cheap, but compared to a fat, you know, $2,500, $3,000 to $500, you know, from piecing it together, I'll take the $500 every time. So, yep. Thank you, Karen. Karen says, thumbs up, everybody. Appreciate that. Yeah, again, apologize about the technical issues earlier but I'm glad we were able to get it done and talk about it all it's been a video I've been meaning to do for a while so yeah and I'm still waiting on pieces and parts like I said we got the electrical to finish up and two more backdrops to put up whenever that happens but anyway um, yes see John <laughs> love the ceiling mount versus the tripod yeah John Jones says love the ceiling mounts for the lights so much better than tripping over tripods 100% and I do have um You know, I have four of these, and these two are just mounted on these short brackets. <coughs> but it's okay, because it's not on the floor. It sits on the edge of the table, so they're really not in the way. You know, because I pretty much just use this middle section of the table for everything. You know, like I said, not a fan of those little ring lights. They'll probably go away eventually. But, uh, yeah, just too many cords and stuff. So, keep it going. Okay. And part time picker asks, why so many thumbs down? Because people are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> they have nothing else to do in their life. But uh, anyway. Uh, Marie says, we have two old projector screens. I know what I'm going to use them for now. 100%. Yep. Uh, I have a projector, like kind of, it's not really a projector screen. Well, I guess it could be. It's a window shade. Mounted over on that wall that I used to use. And, uh, it just wasn't big enough for this setup in this system, but it's still hanging over there. It's like a backup. <laughs> I just left it on the wall when I 
I did my big redo at the beginning of the year. I shifted everything around, shifted my desks around, all for this purpose, was to set up better photography is what all this was. Make my shipping better, my uh, shipping station, my listing and photography and video, my cleaning station, it's all has its own place now. It makes everything more efficient. So, yep, and the bargain effect says that's exactly what I use. The white window shades for mm -hmm. small and yep, 100%. And there, there is definitely frugal ways to do excellent photography and setup and stuff. I mean, it's just like everyone in this business. I was watching a video yesterday, and I don't even remember the YouTuber's name. It's someone I didn't normally watch, but it was a recommended video, so I just let it roll and stuff. And this guy was giving advice, which is fine. Everybody can have their two cents stuff, but he was giving it as it's a black or white. You need to do this. You need to do that. All this crap is gray areas. Everyone is different. Everyone has different, you know, affordability issues, what margins you want, condition of items, can you repair, do you not want to repair, you know, what, uh, if you want to make $5 on an item, that's okay with you, versus you want to make $20 on an item. It's all gray areas. So when I saw this dude, it was his way, black and white, this is right, that's wrong, skip. And this guy had a huge subscriber base, and I'm like, sheesh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Nice, yep. Hey, Tommy. Thank you, bud. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Marie says, seems to be a lot of that DSA. 100%. And it never fails. And, you know, I, it, I guess part of it's jealousy is that these people have huge subscriber bases and people listen to them. And I'm like, it's crazy. I guess people just want to be told what to do, you know. Uh, there's people like that out there, you know, that just want to be told what to do, and I'll do it that way, you know. But who knows? To me, it's all a crapshoot. You got to do it, you learn. Some of it's going to work, some of it's going to fail. You shift, you you move, you know. It's all part of the experiment. Thank you, Pick and Flipper. I always enjoy the content. Okay, well, that's about it, guys. Unless you have any more questions, the next. 20 seconds. <laughs> I think I covered everything. This table we already had. It actually belonged to my wife's mother that we inherited. But uh, yeah, we have one more like this. It's in the garage. So we had the table. And I like this table because I can break it down easy. One thing I'm going to do with this table is put some casters on it. It's just a regular plastic folding table. It's a dirty floor. <laughs> and, they, and they make uh, casters that can fit or be modified to fit on these tables. And I'm going to be doing that soon as well. So I can just roll it out of the way. You know, when I'm doing the uh, haul videos, I'll pull this table out and stand behind the table and we can get the iPad pretty close with the lights in the background. So that's what makes the solo videos better. I, I hope the only thing we're still working on is the sound. Can't get the sound right. <laughs> Stupid. Apple's good with a bunch of stuff. iPad, iPhone, iMac over there. Thinking about getting a MacBook eventually, but microphones. Apple, what's up with the microphones? Uh, let me see here. Oh, there's Resell Rockefeller, that dude. Man, you're a rock star. I've been watching a couple of your videos lately. Good stuff, good stuff, man. So, yeah. I'm sorry you just got in here, man, but uh, we're about to wrap it up. <laughs> That's about all I've talked about. Go rewatch the video. A lot of Everything about this setup, the lights, the backdrop, the brackets, uh, everything. And uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we're going thrifting tomorrow, just like normal. So uh, we'll see you guys. Yeah, I'll just be back on regular schedule this coming week, even though Monday is a holiday. Don't forget that. No shipping on Monday. So uh, yeah, see you guys live. Uh, Monday morning, I have a dentist checkup at 930. So I can't do my normal time on my live show on Monday, but it's just a checkup. It won't take very long, so I may just shift the live time, you know. Hate to interrupt the uh, working hangouts, but uh, my audience, you know, demands to see me, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a joke. And they're awesome when they do. Okay. So, that's it, guys. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you guys this week. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, remember to check out those Amazon affiliate links. All this stuff, except for a couple of things, are on Amazon.